नमस्वाय स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज तुलिका मैम आई होप यू आर ऑल फाइन टुडे वील बी स्टार्टिंग विद द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री दैट इज सिंथेटिक फाइवर्स एंड प्लास्टिक्स बिफोर वी मूव टू द चैप्टर आई वॉन्ट टू गिव यू सम इंस्ट्रक्शंस प्लीज फॉलो दोज इंस्ट्रक्शंस वेन एवर यू आर गोइंग वॉचिंग दिस वीडियोज फर्स्ट बी रेडी विथ योर कॉपी एंड पेन एज यू आर वॉचिंग द वीडियोज write down the important points which is being discussed in the video in your class for copy write only with blue color pen this time you have got three separate copies for physics chemistry and biology so you have to write separately in those copies after you watch the video and write the more important points in the copy go through ncrt read ncrt Reading NCERT is a must for every student. So let us now start with the topic synthetic fibers and plastic. In this video we will learning about what are synthetic fibers? What are the advantages and disadvantages of synthetic fibers? So what is a fiber? A fiber is a thin thread like strand from which clothes are made. The fibers are first converted to yarn by the process of spinning and after that the yarn is converted to fabric by the process of knitting and weaving. You have learned about this process in class 6. There are two types of fiber. One is natural fiber and another is synthetic fiber. Natural fiber we obtain from plants and animals like cotton. These are natural fiber. Jute is a natural fiber which is obtained from plants. Silk, wool, these are animal fibers. These are natural fibers which are obtained from animals. What are synthetic fibers? Synthetic fibers are those which are obtained from petrochemicals. They are made artificially in the lab. They are also called artificial fibers. Now what are the advantages of synthetic fiber over natural fiber they are very strong and durable they last long they require very little maintenance they are resistant to moth and insect the moth and insect will not cut this synthetic fibers they do not absorb water or rather they absorb very less water so they dry very quickly as compared to natural fiber why, now why they absorb less water because they have got very less pore size and therefore they absorb very less water they can be easily dyed into different attractive colors they are crease resistant that is they will not get crumpled while washing and wearing them now what are the disadvantages of synthetic fiber they are not comfortable to wear in summer as they do not allow air to pass through them they have got very less pore size so they do not allow the air to pass through them so and the sweat to pass through them the sweat doesn't evaporate so you feel very uncomfortable while you wear this type of synthetic fibers in summer as they do not absorb water so they do not absorb sweat either care has to be taken while ironing as they are damaged at high temperatures they melt easily as compared to cotton and wool they catch fire very easily they are inflammable highly inflammable that's why you should never wear cloths which is made up with synthetic fiber while you are working in kitchen or lab because they might catch fire easily and then they will stick to the skin sometimes they cause rashes on the skin they are non biodegradable they do not decompose on their own when they are thrown away so they do not mix with the soil now we will be learning about the concept of monomers and polymer now what do you mean by monomer mono means one and mer is unit so it means one unit what is polymer poly means many and mer means unit so polymer means many unit So a polymer is made from monomers joined together. 
so a polymer is a long molecule which is being made from monomers joined together polymers can be of two types one is homopolymer another is heteropolymer now what is homopolymer and what is heteropolymer see this necklace it is made up of blue colored beads each blue colored bead is a monomer they join together to make the necklace which is a polymer it is made up of only blue colored beads that is it is made up of only one kind of monomer so these are called homopolymers they are made from same type of monomer now see this necklace it is made up of three different kinds of beads or rather three different kinds of monomer this golden one this blue one and this brown one so they they are made up of three different kinds of monomer this polymer this necklace is a polymer it is made up of three different kinds of monomer so this is a heteropolymer so polymers can be of two types one is homopolymer another is heteropolymer so what are these synthetic fibers these synthetic fibers are actually polymers they can be natural polymer or they can be synthetic polymers for example cotton is made up of a long polymer called cellulose the cellulose polymer is made from only one type of molecules arranged one after another like the same color beads which is shown in the figure the monomer of cellulose is glucose the glucose molecule joined together to make the cellulose polymer nylon nylon is a synthetic fiber nylon is made from two different kinds of molecules arranged alternatively you see here one is a red color one another is a blue color bead so nylon is a heteropolymer so a synthetic fiber is a polymer which is made from the molecules of a monomer joined together to form very long chains synthetic fibers are also called man made fibers or natural fibers so they are what polymers the monomers are joined together with the help of bonds and they form polymer so in this video what we have learnt in this video we have today we have learnt what is polymer what is monomer what are the advantages of synthetic fiber what are the disadvantages of synthetic fiber namaste bye